Pakistan now, one policeman has Terrorism, been killed. Terrorism, political instability, a failing economy. Counterterrorism officials see this as part of uh, ongoing this sensitive... This army op- came to be known as the Taliban. Pakistan, a country that's consistently been given a bad rap. Pakistan is dangerous. Pakistan has terrorists. Why bother even going? It's been misrepresented and has deterred many travelers from ever visiting. Well, I like to make up my own opinion from personal experience. So, I set out on a mission to discover the untraveled, unknown beauty of Pakistan. racing. So since Pakistan doesn't get tons of tourism, there are some sketchy places to say the least. For example, our first stop on our trip was the Road to Ferry Meadows. Look at these roads. It is a single lane highway, but two cars have to go along a steep cliff. And boy, does it get tight. I was basically holding my breath this entire trip to Ferry Meadows. And if riding this sheer edge cliff wasn't enough, of course, we then got a flat tire. Once again, beautiful view, but we've been tossed But after a quick change of the tire, we made it to this beautiful oasis high up in the mountains. This place didn't even feel real compared to that dusty desert trail on the mountainside that we had to take in to get here. Pakistan is typically very hot, however, due to the altitude of Fairy Meadows, it's nice and temperate and moderate. It's really, really green here. Flowers are naturally growing. There's cedar and pine trees like everywhere. Really, really lush and gorgeous compared to like the desert and rubble mountains which we've been used to seeing. These views are incredible, not to mention that 8,000 are right behind me. Let's continue our trek for today. So here we are, the glacier down from Nanga Parbat, the ninth highest mountain in the world, 8,126 meters. Look at that stunning glacier as we fly our drone through the crevices. It's pretty wild to see that much ice. And there's the shot of Niagara Parbat at sunset. It has claimed 64 lives from an astonishingly low 287 attempts. It's now ranked the third most dangerous mountain in the entire world. If you look closely on this time lapse, I actually caught two avalanches right here and another right here. If you were climbing, that would certainly be deadly. Speaking of avalanches, the next day we made it to Naltar Lakes, and as we began our hike, we noticed another avalanche, but this time in form of rocks. Luckily, we were far enough away, so we continued on our journey in our car. However, there was an avalanche here the year prior which had completely taken out the road, so we had to set off the rest of the way on foot. And here we are, we've made it to Naltar Valley, one of the most beautiful places I've seen in not only Pakistan, but in the entire world. This whole thing doesn't feel like real life. So this is where the glacial water mixes with the snow melt. Glacial melt, snow melt. So after what seemed like 24 hours to get here, through a protest, a couple construction roadblocks, and just absolutely abysmal roads, we have made it to one of the most, I would say, world-class locations that is completely untouched because it takes so much effort to get here. Never seen it before online. None of my friends have ever been here. Naltar Lakes. It just reminds me when people say that places are too touristy. My response to them is always, 
there is always another spot you can go to that's not touristy. It just requires a lot of work. And that's exactly why not a lot of people are gonna come here. Just because it takes so much effort, but you get truly rewarded with no one here and some immaculate, beautiful conditions. Now in 10 years from now, this place will be more accessible. They'll have better roads, more people to be able to visit it, people to drive cars in. Those who are elderly will be able to survive the journey. And that's a great thing. And no, it's not bad that 10 years ago was more pristine. I think it's amazing that these people are gonna to get to visit. Tourism will go up here, bless the local economy. And for those people who really like off the beaten track adventures, there will be somewhere else. There's always another spot that is really hard to get to and you can get rewarded with beautiful views. My rant is over. That's it for my rant. Hope you enjoy this amazing location. That is it for the Naltar Lakes. We checked around today, went for a few different swims in this freezing cold water. We're spending one more night up here and then we're heading back on those treacherous roads out of here. And I just gotta say, after Fairy Meadows and Naltar Lakes, Pakistan is completely insane. It's absolutely stunning up here. I'm floored, I've never seen something so beautiful. I'm absolutely in love with the north of Pakistan. I hope this encourages you to come. But anyways, on with the video. I'm mind blown right now if you can't tell. <laughs> So it became apparent to me very quickly that Pakistan is so much more than what the news reports. How crazy. So there was a huge avalanche last year, July last year, and it covered the road and the, and the river and everything and redirected it. That's why the river runs through the forest now. What's this? It's a creamy chicken handy. My favorite. My favorite in Pakistan. Who wants handy? And it yeah. just came. <laughs> took us to a glacier and right now we're walking right on top of it i know it just looks like massive amounts of glacier still but if you look closely there's a glacier we're looking at this little tiny glacier pool and it has a cool little runoff here that looks so like flowing caramel that's wild and then what wow oh my gosh what? Let's go. So this is the second amazing glacier that we've seen on this trip and it's called Hunza Glacier. Huge, lots of ice, and super incredible to walk through. Oh my gosh, this is so very scary. This crevice was particularly scary because we put rocks under our feet so we wouldn't slide down, but we didn't know if they're gonna hold. So scary and so filthy. This is incredible. Walking along this skinny little trail. Wow, glaciers are stupidly large. You can't even fathom it until you get up close to them. Oh, this trail. Oh my gosh, this trail. Sheesh! Ah. I just want to take a quick moment to let you know that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Online security is now more important than ever since our lives have become very much online. Through banking, payment systems, social media, work, and play, our information is all out there. In order to protect your privacy and maintain security, it is important to be using a VPN which essentially scrambles your IP address, making your location and device completely unknown. I have been using NordVPN for years now due to its reliability and ease of use. Just one easy click on the laptop or mobile and you're secure. 
Another little tip while traveling, for example here in Pakistan and many other countries, they don't have Instagram Reels. Instagram just hasn't allowed it there yet. So if you're traveling, you'll lose your ability to have Reels or even upload them. However, if you just run NordVPN full-time on your phone, then Instagram won't know your location and won't block them. So if you wanna protect your privacy and maintain security today, check out the link in the description for an exclusive deal and let's get back to the video. All right, this brings us to the next day where we checked out Abatabad Lake and hiked up one of the trails to get a proper view to overlook it. This is a cool hike. So the lake below me was actually created by a natural disaster. There's a village down there, an avalanche came in and it sort of naturally dammed up the whole thing and it buried a village. So there's a village actually underneath the water. And now it's a really cool blue lake. So it was a sad story and a natural disaster has now turned into a beautiful blue lake for many to enjoy. After a beautiful hike, we have a top view of Atabad Lake, the lake I was talking about earlier. We're at the peak, it's beautiful. So as we were finishing up this exhilarating hike, on the way back we met a local and they invited us in. So we got invited into one of the local houses here to have tea and I'll show you what it looks like inside but it's really cool. It's all just like rugs and tapestry sitting around the main table area but wow, it's cool, it's cool. Just these beautiful rugs everywhere and a skylight to light up the room and of course the sweet milk tea which I have now become severely addicted to. Thank you, Pakistan. It's gonna take me a while to get over this one. Cool. What a chai stop. What do you think? <laughs> You're not gonna beat it. And look. Oh, look at you. Oh. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> The next day, we headed down to the freezing cold glacial river to cross it on one of the sketchiest bridges I've ever seen in my entire life. All of our friends that were with us were freaking out, but were reacting to stress in different ways. Justin was panicking. He's gonna shake you. Did you see him? He was just jumping like. A, yeah, he was just fucking jumping. I'm waiting. You have a bounce, bounce. Shanae had accepted her passing and told us how to process her body. Don't bother bringing me home. I don't. It's a waste of money. What should you do with your body? A fucking into the sea. <laughs> Not this river. I don't want to go into the river. Just, just into the sea. Bye, this is me. He's got music in and he's freaking out right now. He's got Ida Tiger playing. swung on the wire, I hit my chest right on a plank of wood. Instant replay. Oh yes. Oh, mad scars. Oh, yeah. Wow, and that was Pasu Bridge. Probably the sketchiest bridge I've ever been on, I don't know, but so much fun. You just gotta love Pakistan with these insanely cool tourist attractions. <laughs> So at this point of my time here, it really hit me that 99.9% .9 of the world will never see the beauty, even including those who like to travel. Too many people just give in to a bad headline and let fear dictate decision making. It really feels unfair that a country as beautiful as this will never get the credit it truly deserves. So my last day I got taken to a local's house where I was able to shoot some guns, eat some food, and enjoy some music. Oh, I forgot to pressure, right? Nice sound. 
fully in. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I'm literally deaf. I'm <laughs> deaf. <laughs> You're good. Keep holding it. Jeez, keep again? holding it. Yeah, yeah, keep holding it. Oh my. <laughs> Your heart's racing. That's so much power. And I'm also deaf. But there you go. Yeah, I'll see. When in Pakistan, <laughs> I guess we'll shoot guns. So I got to enjoy some traditional Pakistani music and some food and then shower them with money because this is what they told me there's normal to do here. After a bit of dancing and of course some more food until I couldn't eat any more, my Pakistan trip had officially come to an end. Pakistani people are some of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. I feel truly blessed to be able to have traveled to this country. I hope this video has provided a bit of an alternative view to what typically gets reported here. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next adventure.